So right here is a chimney on top of a roof. Guy asked me to fix it. So I'm looking at the chimney and you can see this is where the problem is. What happened is this is out of brick right here. And then years later they went up with the block. So I shake the chimney, it's solid as a rock. So we don't have to worry about it. So we're just gonna patch it up. Simple video, but every little bit helps. First thing I'm gonna do is get this out of here. Just like that. Get this down here. Anything loose. That's all good. Looks like they had an antenna up here in the old days. Get that off of there. Up here. Let's get that off of here. So now I now I got it all cleaned out here. Get everything out of there that I could. And get it off the roof. That's the next step. Get it off the roof so we don't slip over it. Now here's what I'm mixing up is uh, rapid set mortar mix for that. So I'm on top of the roof. Now I get my sprayer and I spray it because I gotta anytime you're gonna use cement, you gotta wet it first. So I wet it pretty good. Do this on a roof with a bucket and a trowel, but this is rapid set right here. And it goes right on the chimney. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I trawled that on, and these holes right here, I'm just gonna do this. Just fill them in, and uh, right here, and then I'm gonna paint this whole thing with Portland. Kind of disguise it. I'm trying to do this on the top of a chimney. Holding the bucket and the glove, and just use a rubber glove. You see any bad spots, you just fill them in like this. Like that. On top of the chimney, water it first. Same thing. Get your glove, go around it. That's all. Just like that. And then you get a sponge, some water, and you just sponge it. Just like that. Go around the whole chimney, all the places you patched. Hide all your sins. And then down here at the main spots, you get them filled in. Right here. Doing it without me falling off the roof. I think I'll put a little more in there. So what I'm doing is take a little bit of Portland cement and I'm mixing it into a paint with water. So now I'm gonna paint this with Portland. Straight Portland cement. That's going to hide all the sins and patches and everything else that goes along with it. Anytime you paint with Portland, you got to wet it first. Remember that. Any kind of cement, you wet it first before you use it. Then, I take my mix. And I forgot any rags, so I have to use my, my uh, sweatshirt, which I got from the Salvation Army. And they just paint with regular Portland. Now what's going on with chimneys right now is they came out with all these new furnaces, which really are very, very efficient. So the only things going up the chimneys anymore is vapor, 
water vapor and very little heat. That's why what's happening is the stuff gets in the chimney, all the water, and it saturates and in the winter it freezes and the whole chimney busts apart. So anymore, nobody's really building chimneys, they're putting power vents in. Uh, the plumbers put them in and that's, uh, that's what's going on. That's why I don't even build a chimney no more. I'll patch up something like this because it's the roof ain't that bad, but they told me I had a relay block. I wouldn't take the job. Too old. So we're just painting it with Portland, and not only is it hiding our sins, but it's uh, making a little more water resistant is the best word I could use. So now I just brought some tar up. I'm tarring the roof. This is what I'm using right there. All weather means it even go over wet stuff, but uh, I'm not worrying about it looking pretty up here because there ain't going to be no girls dancing with high heels doing the polka. This is uh, to keep the rain out. It's an old house. And we're just going to tar it in there real good. Use a lot of it. Just using a stick. It's actually a door shim. Anything that works. Okay, so I patched it up. Put a lot of tar on the bottom, like I said. I'm not worried about what it looks like. I'm making sure it don't leak. Then at the end, if I get any bad spots, get yourself a steel brush. Real lightly get them off unless you have a hose. It sometimes cause more damage than what you're doing. So, it's drying up, that's it, finished.